Guys, this team just keeps getting better and better through one way or another, and now we've just added Aaron Nola. He was traded for at the end of the last episode. I thought after the Baez trade, we weren't going to get any other big trade. I was wrong. Aaron Nola's a 94 overall. Those are his ratings, and so far on the season, he's got 144 innings pitched with a 3.38 ERA, 149 strikeouts. So he's having a solid year. He's highly rated. He fits right in. And now we get a chance to uh, player lock on him to give him a boost for the rest of the season and so far if we look back every single pitching player lock for a boost has gone so well we can look through here the guys when did gene segura did i did i really i didn't get a three plus with him why is it saying that anyway okay yeah this is off never mind i think they got uh I think they got Segura and Perdomo mixed up. I definitely got three plus with Perdomo and only the one plus with Segura. So I don't know why that's messed up. And then Bowden Francis was the other one. So both of those guys, Perdomo and Francis, I've done player lock moments with. I think both times I've thrown like a complete game. <laughs> so hopefully Aaron Nola can follow in those footsteps. If he gets a plus three for the rest of the year, man, he he's going to be insane so let's get into it we got to face atlanta on the road and we get our first taste of aaron nola in the brewers uniform all right thrown right into the fire immediately we got to face acuna he's got a change up knuckle curve four seam sinker i wish i wish there was something with a little uh horizontal movement i wish he had like a slider or something but this should be fine that sinker had an insane amount of break on it and yeah see if we can sit acuna down on three pitches here we do, we get him on the curve. Dang, Freeman's not biting at all. I, I wish uh, I wish Nola had a little bit more control now that I'm actually using him. Like that fastball, that's a pretty big shaded region there. Especially on a 3-2 and we still get him anyway. I didn't even get a perfect. Oh, and we strike out the side in the first. To start his Brewers career, Aaron Nola mows through Acuna Freeman and Ozuna. Oh, and we're batting in the second, so that's a good sign up. 3 nothing already. Wow. 3-0 count to the pitcher. What are they doing? I don't think that's going to get down, but <laughs> made him throw way more extra pitches than he needed to with those three straight balls. All right, now we got a lead to work with even better. Let's just keep mowing him down. Four strikeouts in a row. I wonder, I wonder if there's any sort of record that people have kept track of, of uh, strikeouts in a row for somebody's first game on a team. Oh, I thought that was a foul ball at first. Oh, come on, man. Urias, buddy. Can't be doing that. Are we immediately going to get two? Tag him, throw it. Nice. There we go. Back on track. We are going to make that play, right? Yeah, here is camped under it. All right, well, I guess we've calmed down on the strikeouts here. I got the last couple guys to 0-2, and they don't strike out anymore. But as long as we're getting out, this kind of all I care about. There we go. That's going to be three innings here to start of no-hit ball from Aaron Nola. 0-2 again. Let's see if we can get a strikeout this time. Yeah, there we go. I think Acuna has seen six pitches in this game, and he struck out twice. Oh, there we go. Hey, the shift paid off. I don't normally have uh, auto shifts on, but when I'm player locked, it's not my call. And we got another one. That's six. Six strikeouts, four innings, no hits. Dang, that was actually a nice swing for a pitcher <laughs> with zero contact, zero power. Ah, that's going to be the hit. I hung the curve. I guess that's all it takes. I can't be doing that. That's all on me. Can't be missing the spot. I missed the spot again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't let it fall apart here now. All right, there we go. Right on the edge. Set him down. Now a double play gets us out of it. And there it is. He's just going to cover himself. There we go. Nola was still running. I told him to stop. Oh, man. That was a good curveball that time on 0-2, and he got a hit out of it. 
Dang, 0-2 to 3-2. The Panda won't let us take it easy here. Oh, there we go. Didn't mean for that to be uh, so much in the zone, but it got him, got him fooled. Hey, Acuna took a ball. Good for him. I didn't even notice. We we put up two more runs. It's five nothing now. Is that going to be two? Acuna's quick. We got him. Three double plays in this game. Any inning that they've had a base runner, we've just turned two. We're going to get Freeman down on one pitch here. That's big. We've got a low pitch count here. There is a very good chance we could finish this thing. Another chopper. We're going to take him down on three pitches. And we got another strikeout. I don't know if I've ever felt this confident at this point of a player lock pitching game. Usually by this point we're in the yellow energy, I'm begging the CPU to take me out so I don't blow it, but this time, I'm good. I'm good to go, leave me in. Come on, get there even with the shift, yeah. Oh, that's easy, easy. Wow, look at that, league leaders in complete games. It still shows Nola as a Philly, but we have three guys on that leaderboard, all with three complete games. If Nola finishes this one, he moves to four, obviously. How about that? High sinker works offline, too. Another bouncer. That one's going to get through. See, that's that's the time I don't like the shift. Come on, now. These are two weak hits in a row. Let's not let this beat me. Everything was going so well. Uh, it's in play. I thought that was a foul. Urias has got that. There we go. Shutout intact. We got one more inning to go. All right, here we go. Starting at the top of the order, Acuna for the fourth time. Still in the green energy. Another strikeout on three pitches of Acuna. Three of his four at-bats, we've struck him out on three pitches. The other one, he grounded into a double play. I think it said at the bottom of the screen that was 11 strikeouts for Nola in this one. That's not where you want to leave the pitch to Freeman, but the shift works. Into the yellow now, we're at 97 pitches. Can we finish this before getting to 100? That's strike two. We got him swinging. Oh, and it gets down the line. Ah, Wait. He's going to be... Oh, come on. We had him dead to rights if you just make a good throw. I feel like they have... I think they have six hits in this game. I feel like half of them have probably come on an 0-2 count. Where I just shouldn't even be throwing the ball near the zone. There we go. Grounder to second. Wong's got it. And we got the shutout. Complete game shutout in Aaron Nola's Brewers debut. That's going to be three. Yep. We got two fireballs also for our momentum. That was a great game. Also, because Nola was cold, it showed the, the little, you know, snowflake next to his name. So we probably reversed that and gave him the boost for the rest of the year and gave our team more momentum. We're still trying to chase down first. So, like, the momentum is huge. Let's see what we got here. Can we take down Atlanta? Can we sweep them? No. But we got the Pirates and... We got to play him to sweep him. All right. Thrill home fans with a series sweep. How many times have we played the Pirates already? We're tied. Tied for the division lead. All right. Well, let's not delay. Let's just get into this one. It should be a quick one. We just got to shut him down. They do have two on, but we have one out. So a double play would finish it. And we have that uh, extra run of insurance, which hopefully doesn't come into play, but it might be might be nice to have here. We actually have our starter still in. Bowden Francis going for a complete game shutout. Hey, maybe I'll leave him in. Maybe I'll stick with him. Man, based on those numbers there, the, the runs per game, the ERA, everything we had is way higher than the Pirates. But we're only 9-6 and six against him. It feels like we should be doing better. And I don't know. This, this might be dumb of me, but I kind of want to see if I can finish this with Francis. All right, we got a pop-up. Here is there. There's one. We just need one more. And another pop-up. We can't get it on the fly, but Wong's there. Makes the play. And there we go, man. That was what, like three pitches? <laughs> that, was, that was one of the easiest moments ever. All right, so we got one for the win, one for it being a shutout. Bowden Francis, 10 strikeout, complete game shutout. And let's just keep winning, man. Might have taken over first place from that win, but we, we got to just keep going.
I really feel like we're going to catch fire here with how good this team has become. I feel like these last two months of the season might be like the best second half of a season ever. Look at this. We're not losing. When to keep streak alive. I, I wasn't paying full attention. What's our streak at? Six? So we are two games up now. We're projected at 95 wins now. This is something I just noticed here real quick. We're probably not going to have any of our guys lead the league in strikeouts, but all five of our starting pitchers in our rotation are in the top 10 for strikeouts. Nola's three, Burns, Francis, and Peralta are five, six, seven, and then Woodruff is in the 10 spot. How many times do you have a team's full five-man rotation in the top 10 of anything? All right, so let's go ahead into this next game here. This one's going to be a little tougher. We're tied with the Cubs. They have the bases loaded right now, though. So we got to get an out, put up a run, and then close things off. And why is Josh Lindblom in the game in this situation? What it, What is going on with the AI here? In what line of thinking do you put a long relief pitcher in? In the eighth inning of a tied game. Th this is just what frustrates me. When I when I see that Devin Williams has only thrown 23 and two-thirds innings, and, and at least you, you, would, you would think, oh, they're saving him for the big situations, but then you see he's at full energy in this game and they brought in the long reliever. I just, I don't understand. Actually, what I'm going to do here, though... Since they have Jock Peterson up with two outs, I'm going to bring Hader in to get that lefty-lefty matchup. Hopefully set Peterson down, and then Hader hopefully will finish the game. It won't be a save if we score a run. You just get the win, but hopefully he can finish the game. Should I put in... You know what? Actually, yeah. Never mind. I'm going to put in Chafin. We'll get the one out with Chafin, and then we can save Hader because we can get into a save situation in this game. All right, that makes more sense. Grounder to short. We'll go to first with it. Nice. So now if we really want to execute the plan here, got to put up a run. Oh, okay. I, I did press the button there, but luckily we got the check swing. We got the leadoff base runner. I don't like that cutter. Wow, that... Did that seem to anybody else that that was like the sharpest breaking curveball ever? All right, worked it back to 3-2 from 0-2. Ah, he left that right in the zone, and I I cannot pick up that cutter. Look at how far off I was. I had the timing. I was just nowhere near where that actually ended up. We have Yelich. I was prepared to go to Vogelback, thinking we would just take the lead that way, but Yelich is on the bench today. All right, I got to make sure I don't blow this here. I got to lock in. All right, whatever. Ah. <sighs> I wanted to hit a gapper, but I'll take the walk. Who are they going to bring in here? They're going to bring in a lefty to face Colton Wong. Wong is fine against lefties, but what kind of option do we have? Oh, we have Baez? Man, everyone's on the bench today. I didn't even realize Baez was on the bench. All right, well, that's that seems like the move. <laughs> oh, no. That was the liner, but it was right to the center fielder. Oh, and he's hitting Avi to load the bases. That would have helped before there was two outs. But now we still need a base hit to convert, and Kane is at the plate. That's not bad. Oh, it didn't get through. That was an awful swing. All right, well, Williams is going to get in the game now. And we get Jackie Bradley Jr. down on strikes. Another strike out there. I love using Williams, man. Between the Sox, March to October, and this one, he's just so fun to use. Weak grounder, let's react. He's got speed. <laughs> why did that why did that take him so long to react to that? I mean we got the out anyway, so fine, but like, wow. No, I missed that way too much. Oh, I was early. I even had the PCI there and I was early. It's usually the opposite. And that's another one right down the middle. Don't catch that. I blew that at bat. I blew this game. If we don't win from here on out, that's the at bat that it comes back to. Narvaez. Eh. I just, I can't do it. I can't do it with these hanging sliders. Why can I not hit him? Now we got to go lefty lefty with Shaw also. That's not good. That's not what you want. 
Oh! Oh! Shaw! Lefty, lefty! All right, I'll take that. We got our one run. Shaw with the double. Lefty, lefty. I did not see that coming. Is that? That's not enough. That was almost a good swing, but not quite. So we only got the one run, but at least we got the one. So now if they if they get their free runner across, it's not an automatic loss. I'm just going to stick with Williams, honestly. He absolutely mowed him down last inning. And why go to Hayter against Chris Bryant? Ah. Oh, he's going to third. No! I don't know if we would have gotten him, because I think with animations, even though I reacted late, I think that was about as quickly as we could have gotten it over there anyway. All right, we got the strikeout of Bryant, but now I'm going to have to think about if I want to walk the next guy. I'm not going to do it. I never... I'm never a proponent of putting the winning run on the bases. I, I don't like doing it. That's not going to do it. That would have been the double play. Not like it would have been half up, but still. All right, well, that's that sucks. That wild pitch didn't happen, which I didn't even think it was wild. He blocked it, kept it in front of him. But if that didn't happen, he's still at second base right now with two outs. That's got to be caught. Don't give me this red crap. Good. All right, we just got to do it again. No biggie. I just wanted to bunt him over. I should have pulled back, but I, I still thought that was going to be in the zone. Oh, and then he popped. Segura, dude. All right, now we got to go Vogel back. We'll just take our 5-3 lead, and then we should be able to save it. Oh, no. Look at this. Why can I not hit the hanging pitches right down the middle? Ah. Uh, at least that was in the zone. At least I didn't swing at ball four. But I feel like that could have ended up better. I feel like we could have had a better result on that. That was not a bad swing at all. I swung at ball four, but honestly, that's fine. As long as we fouled it off. I'd rather have Baez up than Garcia. Ah, I can't swing at that one, so we gotta take the walk. That doesn't really help here, because now we just have a worse hitter up with the same situation, really. Yeah. That was a really good pitch, but I don't need to be swinging at it on a 1-0 count. I mean, I kind of feel like I have to go to Hater here, because that might be our best bet at keeping the runner on second from scoring. At least it looks like they're sticking with Rizzo, so they're not going to have a whole lot of speed out there. You know, I, I, I should have realized it earlier, not now when it's 1-2. Normally, in this situation, I pitch to the first guy, and if we get him out, then I walk the next guy for the double play. But in this spot, with Contreras being good against lefties, I probably should have just walked him. I mean, I still could, it's just not going to be intentional. Alright, that works. I was just not throwing it in the zone at that point, and he swung at it anyway, so we got the out. Uh, now they're bringing in the pinch runner, another former brewer on their team. Alright, I think now's the spot. We walk Bodie, they got the pitcher spot up next, and they only have Romine to bring in. So we'll set up the double play here, because this time that runner on first isn't the winning run, it's the runner on second, so that runner doesn't matter. That should be our double play. Alright, we're still in this one. And I think Hayter was left with enough energy to hopefully pitch the next inning, too. We have to put up a run this inning. Man, Kane has no bunting. I was going to try and bunt him over again, but after how it worked last time, you know what? No, I'm still going to do it. All you got to do is lay down the bunt fair. Okay. Oh, that grounder's not going to help. I'm, like, so close. I had good timing, but I'm on top of it that time. Dude, the ball right down the middle. The timing, good. Why can I not hit it? Move the PCI, man. At this point, I really don't deserve to win this game. I've had so many chances that I've just blown every time. And, and still, I somehow come through. Narvaez hits that one to the wall. And we put up another run here. Another go-ahead double from a big lefty. 
Yeah, and of course I can't come through with another one. He kind of has a wicked curveball, that Rowan Wick. But we, we do have Hater on the mound, which is the guy you want on the mound here. If there is ever a chance to finally close this game off, it's right now. Dude, go down. He won't just miss. There we go. So many times you get people to 0-2. Easy. And then they just battle. Oh, that was big. That's out number 2. 0-2. Let's see how long it takes for him to actually get out. There we go. Oh, man. I already said it. And I still feel it. I did not deserve to win that one. I had so many chances throughout so many different spots to come through. And I blew every single one of them. Except, I guess, the one that won us the game in the end. And that's all that matters. The pitching came through. Williams, Hater, for the most part, shut the door. Except for, I guess, Williams giving up the one run after we took the lead in the 10th. But... It's not really on him, but we keep the win streak alive. We had three more fireballs of momentum, and hopefully we should be able to widen the lead in the division here. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice little fireball going again. Let's take care of the Cubs here. Keep the win streak going, man. Don't lose. We're never going to... Oh, okay. <laughs> well. What? Why would I do this? What are you on, game? Yeah, there is there's absolutely no reason to do this. All right, we're just going to skip it. And our next moment, I guess, is now. <laughs> We've had Wong all year, and now we're getting the player lock with him. All right, man, the Cardinals, they just won't they won't let me build up a lead here. We've had we had such a good sim going there. Won like 10 games in a row, and we're still only three up. But hey, three up is a lot better than we started the episode. This is where I'm going to end it, though. We got the Colton Wong player lock to look forward to in the next one. We made very good progress in this one. Lots of games played, lots of wins. The team just continuing to look better and better. Aaron Nola with his complete game shutout. Good episode all in all. So make sure to leave a like on this if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel to see the rest of this Brewers March to October. Make sure you don't miss one. But that's it for this one. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.